Good morning, Pastor Tim here with today's Devo. Job 23, Job says, But he knows the way I take. When he has tried me, I shall come forth as gold. Job knew suffering. This, this man took more pain than most of us have ever had to. Imagine, just, just in one day, Job lost his wealth and all ten of his children, and then he lost his health and his honor. Did he have anything left? Sure. He, he had a bitter wife who told him, Do you still hold fast to your integrity? Curse God and die. Lovely woman. And a handful, also I had a handful of self-righteous friends who, as the Bible says, were sorry comforters. Still Job clung to God and saw past the trial and by faith declared, But he knows the way I take. When he has tried me, I shall come forth as gold. Refining hurts, but the result is pure gold. Trials draw sin out of our lives, as in the image of a refining process. Here's a little lesson in Gold 101. First, when gold is being refined, it must be melted. When the ore is mined initially, it's, it comes out mixed with other metals and impurities. So they, they have to crank up the furnace to 1,948 degrees, the temperature at which gold melts. The second process is called binding. And once the gold is molten, a special flux is added to make it more fluid and, the, and to bind the impurities together. Then when they pour the gold into a mold, the impurities are called slag, rise to the top. Finally, they separate it. After the gold is cooled, the slag is broken off and the steps are repeated. Sometimes I'll do it over and over again, a lot more, a few, quite a few more times for greater purity. This process really hasn't changed much at all in a thousand years. Technology hasn't improved it. God has given us a lasting illustration of his methods with us. This process of refining gold is what came to Job's mind as he wrote those words. When he has tried me, I shall come forth as gold. Job's trials were refining him. Your trials are refining you. And the question is, do you feel the heat? Do you see the slag rising to the top? The biblical word for slag is sin. And it's what makes you restless, miserable, fearful, and selfish. Is God drawing the impurities in your life to the top? When some people go into the furnace of affliction, it burns them. When others go in, the experience purifies them. If you submit to the Lord, as painful as the crisis may be, your suffering will refine you and make you better. If you resist what God is doing, the furnace will scorch you. If the trial is making your faith purer and stronger, and if you have not grown bitter toward the Lord, but are loving Him more and more every day, then there's no doubt about it. You shall come forth as gold. And may you come forth as gold. That's what I have for you today. It's Pastor out.